Y'all should come to his barber shop. It's a great, he's a great barber. Uh, yeah, and I'm hopping in the car. So today's Thursday, so it's kind of like my cheat day. So what better way than doing a cheat day than with some fried chicken? So I've been doing good all week, working out every day, doing what I'm supposed to be doing. So we're gonna try something different today. We're gonna try some fried chicken. Now my homeboy, uh, the Average Joe, link is gonna be in the description. You can subscribe to him down below. He put me up on this Louisiana Hi. chicken batter that we're gonna try. He says it don't need any seasoning, it doesn't need anything else. It's called seasoned crispy chicken fried chicken batter mix, spicy recipe. Now he says you ain't gotta add no, no seasoning to it. It's kind of hard for me to believe, but I'm gonna go ahead and try that you don't have to add any seasoning to, to this. So we're gonna try it out, see how it comes out, see what it, it tastes like, give us our un, honest opinion on it. We're gonna be using a deep free, uh, deep freezer, deep fryer today. Uh, we're not gonna be skillet frying, and we're gonna be using some uh, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. So the name of the product is this here, in case you want to know. Louisiana Seasoned Crispy Chicken Fried Chicken Batter Mix Spicy Recipe. It says the only thing that you need to use is, looks like, mm, looks like water, and that's it. So we're gonna try this out, see how it comes out. All right, so it's saying that we need Looks like we need half a cup of ice cold water. And then we're gonna mix that with five tablespoons of the batter. Half a cup of ice water. Then we're gonna dip the chicken in that and then coat the, the chicken with the remaining, uh, remaining of the batter mix. So I guess kind of give it an extra crispy crust because that's what we're going after. Something super crispy. So. All right, so we're gonna start with half a cup of ice cold water. I'm gonna do five tablespoons of batter. So we're gonna call this one, two, and I'm not being exact, I'm just kind of freehanding this. Mm. We're gonna call that five. Mm, let's put a little bit more in there. Then we're gonna take the rest of this, put it in the bowl. We got this in the bowl. Got my little shadow right here. Hi. So we're gonna take this, stir this up. Boy, there must have been some big, <laughs> must have been some big tablespoons I was doing because this is almost like a, a gravy. Let me see. Let's add some more water to it. Yeah. Uh, let me try a fork. For us, and we can get rid of these clumps. Whipping it, whipping it, whipping it. We in the kitchen whipping it. In the kitchen whipping it. All right, so we got that all mixed up. And we're gonna start with our first. Get it 
nice and coated. And we're gonna roll it around in this. Make sure we get a good even coat. There we go. Another one. Get that all in there. Get that all battered up. That good coat on there. I mean, but what can you expect? It's Louisiana. I mean, whenever you ever had anything that came from Louisiana, that was bad. As far as seasoning wise, I don't know about everything else, but. Nice, nice batch ready to go. Says we gotta heat the heat the oil up to 325. We ain't quite there. The ready light ain't on there yet. Got some good fresh clean oil in there. We are ready. We got that green ready light. That means our oil is up to temperature. Come over to this beautiful chicken right here. Let's get it. Let's get it popping. Literally, let's get it popping. Ladies in there. These bad jokers in here. Let's see how this comes out. I ain't got my doubts, but you know, we didn't put any season on it, so let's see how it goes. Watch, watch this beautiful footage. Here we go. All right, so it looks like the first batch is done. Oh, wait. Well, look at that chicken. Oh, my God. I can already tell. This is about to be five year son what you think it looks great in it but i know it looks good oh get your sniff mm, that smell good smell good yep all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna let you taste the first piece mm -hmm. but after we let it cool off so we're gonna let it cool off and then you're gonna you're gonna try it then i want you to tell me how it is all right daddy guess what what <laughs> it looks like this church's chicken. This, this looks like church's chicken? <laughs> yes. You think so? <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully it tastes better than church's chicken. <laughs> we about to find out. All right, so here we go. Here we go with a taste test. We're going to go with, with somebody that's very professional, somebody that's an expert eating chicken. We're going to go with my son, the youngest, Antoine. So we're going to... Uh, Try this chicken. I want you to tell me your honest opinion when you taste it. All right. All right. So we're just gonna go with this little small piece. Okay, looks good. Try it. Tell me what you think. That's it? It just tastes good? It tastes good. All right, so we're gonna get the honest opinion from my beautiful wife. <laughs> tell me what it, tell me what you think. Mama, don't this look like church's chicken? Yeah, this kind of tastes like churches. <laughs> I know. You think it tastes like churches? Well, it don't taste like churches, chicken, but it looks like churches. Chicken. It tastes like churches. You think so? It does. It actually tastes pretty good, though, don't it? It's good. There y'all have it. The queen spoke. I'm gonna try. He said it's okay, but let me give y'all honors of God opinion. Boy, that's some good chicken. Oh I told God. you. 
Well, that's fire. I told you it was good. <laughs> that's good. That's better than good. It's crazy because it didn't need any. It don't need any extra seasoning. Like straight out the bag, it's it's good. The crazy thing is it does look like church's chicken. That's the crazy thing, but it tastes nothing like it. So, out of out of 10, what would you give it? Well, for real, I'll give it 100, but you said out of 10. Out of 10, what well, would you give 10? it? Uh, I'll give it a 10. I'm gonna give it about a, about a eight. Definitely not like some homemade chicken that you use, you know what I'm saying, season that batter with. But in my honest opinion, this, this for what it is, definitely worth it. But I mean, come on now, it's Louisiana. It's, I mean, what could you expect? So those that don't know, here's the bag again. That's it right there. Depending on what store you go to, it's probably going to be found in your in the. Um, the bread out maybe because i think that's where i found this i also found it over in the seafood uh fresh meat section but i also saw it inside the uh the, like the bread crumbs bread batter side as well but all in all yeah i definitely definitely recommend this this this, this actually turned out real good also for somebody that's probably not used to cooking chicken or cooking chicken for the first time it's pretty self-explanatory uh, didn't run into any problems at all. Came out very, very, very well. And like I said, I definitely, definitely recommend this. Would I try it again? I, I'm sure am. That's why I bought two bags, because I'm definitely gonna try this again uh, when we uh, cook chicken another time. But that came out, that came out way better than expected. And like I said, shout out to my uh, my homeboy, the Average Joe. His uh, link's gonna be down below. Uh, we both are upcoming YouTubers. We just trying to get our names out there. Uh, check him out. He got some very good content. He's actually the one that inspired me to start doing YouTube. So definitely hit my boy up. The link's gonna be down below. And uh, if you have any questions, any comments, definitely appreciate, appreciate it. Any comments, any questions that you guys have, I would definitely answer. Um, if you have any other questions about uh, something that I might have missed in the video. I can definitely uh, go back and do it over again If you guys have any other requests drop them down below in the comments and I'll get right back to you. All right y'all peace Perfect. Perfect.